Have you ever wondered what life at sea is like? All I know is the life at sea ain't for me. We're gonna give you a rare behind the scenes look of what it's like to work on a cargo ship. My brother, Louis, works on a ship as a marine engineer. His job has always been a mystery to me, until one day, we got to check out what his life was like on a ship. Yeah, no, it's okay, so hard to clean up. Uh, they go in to get that blue sheet, and then after, just mop. Blue sheet? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, blue sheet. No, no, blue sheet. Blue sheet. <laughs> sheet. Now, these ships that he's on are huge. They're either cargo vessels or freighter ships. Oh no, these are not luxury liners. These ships may be a class above warships, which for the most part are designed for function, but not comfort. You have to sit in the same place every single time? Yeah, uh, the officers must, but all the ratings must eat there. Oh. So here is... This oh, is oh there because... Is because... No, your private, officer... So officers can talk privately what's going on on the ratings oh, so you can So you can make fun of everybody else so you sit here? Uh -huh. check, check their attitudes uh -huh. every day. Check their attitude. Yeah. Alright, Louis, sit in, sit in your chair, sit in your chair, sit in your throne, yeah. sit in your throne. Oh. Okay, so if somebody gives you attitude, what do you say then? You walk the plank. No. I would think it's much tougher to fire someone in a boat because you can't just kick them off a boat. <laughs> maybe, maybe. So, that's right. That's it. That's the reason. I can tell you one reason right now you should not allow me in the engine room on a ship like this. Look at all these dials, look at all these buttons. I should not be here because I want to touch them all. It's the same problem I have when I walk through a casino floor. There's so many buttons and dials and levers to pull. I just can't help myself. Look at these buttons. They look fake, like from a movie set. Yeah, that's another reason why I can't work on a cargo ship. I mean, this food, food is supplied. And for the most part, it's cafeteria style cooking. In this case, because the chefs are Chinese and most of the crew are Asian, there's a lot of Asian style meals here. So if you crave something else like a hot dog or a bag of Doritos, well, sorry, I need something different every day. And uh, this ain't gonna do it for me. Louis has been elevated now through several promotions. So clearly he knows what he's doing and he gets the comfort of his own room, which is about the size of a dorm room. It's not big, but it is nice to have your own place. Louis, this is how you make warm water by having a tube yeah. connected to hot water yeah, yeah, yeah. and cold water. <laughs> so, so that you have you have a warm water. It's just a clever solution. Now Louis's job is to work on ship engines. These massive machines that are not only awesome in size, but also in complexity. Now these machines are not only freaking massive, but they're loud as hell. You cannot be down here in the engine room unless you wear protection over your ears. Long-term exposure to these pounding sounds will pretty much just turn your brain into mush. And he has to work down here pretty much the whole day. The one thing we notice when we're on the ship is that there are constant reminders for safety. It's definitely dangerous out on the high seas. So that when there's heavy waves kicking about, yeah, there's some good rocking about the ship. Definitely not the kind of job you want if you don't have sea legs. If you're gonna be puking up left and right all the time. So this particular ship that Louis is on is hauling a cargo of cement. Just dry cement, powder. I'm not really quite sure why you have to ship cement from one country to another. I mean, I kind of figure the ingredients for concrete must be readily available everywhere. Isn't it just gray dirt? He's brought all on his laptop and an iPhone, so at least he can enjoy some games and some music. But otherwise, 
entertainment is pretty limited when you work on a ship. But it's not the lack of entertainment that is the hardest to deal with. It's a long extended period where you're away from home. It's just homesickness. And now that Louis has a beautiful wife and a son, it makes it so much more difficult. We asked Louis whether he's ever considered changing jobs. And of course, anyone who's been stuck at sea has. But the thing is, he's good at what he does and it pays well. Now I'm sure for those who love working out on the sea, they may think my job, which is sitting behind a desk, huddled over computer screen, eight hours a day, might be 10 times worse. So to each their own, if you will. But I thought it would be interesting for at least for y'all to hear what life is like as a seaman.